could not get an explanation as to who was in possession of this cell phone except the intruder because one could confirm everyone who was in the house at the hospital. In other words, my lord, if there were no intruders, one would not have expected the phone to go to a different direction. It would have remained at the scene or go with the people who were in the house to the same direction. Kininda testified uh, that another factor that led to him to believe that there were intruders was that the DNA of all the people who were inside the house was excluded from the DNA found on the hat, which investigators found at the crime scene. Yes, this is, this is part of the report I'm referring to, my lord, that deals with, um, with the DNA comparison uh, um, of the people who were inside the house by this expert I was referring to. And if I can place it on record, my lord, so he documented the name number one, which is Mtogosi Sitwala. And, and it says the results are that excluded on all samples. Kelly Kumalo. Excluded on all samples. Madala Tumelo. Utumelo Madalu Landelaya. Excluded on all samples. Nayo Kishi. Longe Twala. Ulongwe Twala. Excluded on all samples. Nayo Kishi Wonga Masambu. And then Zandile Kumalo. Futigno Zandile Kumalo. Included on the smin of Ken. But not on the smin of Ken. Yanage, we are Ulibo Fuso Dakiti and Aya Katolagala Ekani in the smin of. Gladness Kumalo, in, Gladness Kumalo included on the EF swap and from toilet door handle. Yes, that, that is the essence of it, my lord. Um, so in essence, in the mixed DNA of the head, none of them were right, my lord. Kininda also told the court that the witness statements, including the neighbors and the descriptions of the identicates, also led him to believe there were intruders in the house. He also testified about the first breakthrough in information regarding those allegedly involved in Maywa's killing. He told the court that previous witness, Constable Sizwe Zungu, told them of how his father, Absalom Zungu, would have the details. On the 17th of November 2019, the father, Constable Zungu, brought the father who then gave me a statement, and that statement implicated accused one and two. So those names now were now in a son affidavit for the first time. What is the name of Constable Zungu's father? Uh, it's Absalom. I remember the name Absalom <coughs> Zungu, my lord. Um, his affidavit that I obtained is, was attached and disclosed to the defense, my lord. I think in my trial within trial evidence, I also referred to it. For the first time then, my lord, now we had two possible suspects, and this is where and I dealt with it, I think, also in the trial, within trial, the cold case analysis around them, meaning now accused one and two, started. And that resulted in a number of cases being picked up um, under accused number one, which I then took a decision that I'll assign those matters to Sergeant Mohola to investigate those matters. And matters coming out under accused number two, um, those matters were then assigned to Sergeant Mohan to say he must look at them while we were focusing on this main case, my lord. Um, my lord, obviously that um, led to the events that took place on the 30th of May 2020. That is now when accused one um, was arrested.